Katie. And I'm also Katie. I'm Katie. And I'm Luke. And today we're making mac and cheese. Here's what we're doing today. We are giving you two different options yep. for macaroni and cheese. And they're both stovetop macaroni and cheese. One of them is traditional with pasta. In this case, we have shells. And the other one is with cauliflower. For those of you that are trying to keep things a little bit healthier, maybe stay away from gluten or pasta. So you'll have two options. And, and they're both delicious. Yeah, they're both delicious. That is true. We're eating the cauliflower mac for uh, dinner tonight. That is exactly what we're doing. All right, so we're starting with the cauliflower mac. I don't even know what to call it. Because it's really not macaroni and cheese because the macaroni is a cauliflower and cheese. It's just a uh, a device that you can use to make it yeah. sound like you're eating macaroni and cheese. But it's really just cauliflower and cheese. Yep. So I've already cut up one head of cauliflower. And I like to cut them up pretty small because I hate cauliflower. Uh, so I've cut them up pretty small, but I try to get them all the same size. And we are going to chuck these in some boiling water for about five minutes until they're fully cooked. Make sure you salt your water too. OK, so while our cauliflower is in there, we've got, this is like six strips of thick cut bacon that we cut into squares. If you have regular bacon, just use like eight strips of bacon or however much you want, honestly. While our cauliflower is in there, we are gonna render out the fat in this bacon and make it crispy. sitting on top of this pot so the water can run out while we're cooking the bacon. You gotta give the people what they want. The good stuff. That's the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> scary. <laughs> Toast not the sound of it. Hold this. Oh, that's a bacon. Oh, you broke it. You broke it. Bacon is rolling, gotta get it evenly cooked. Wanna get all that fat rendered, which is just a fancy term meaning cooked. Out of the bacon, into the frying pan, bacon goes. Yum, 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 bacon. Whoa. Whoa. Add some grease, some grease. You know gray is in Spanish? Grease. Grease. Why you just said that. Okay, so our bacon is cooked. Cauliflower is already cooked and ready to go. We're gonna pour off some of this fat and we'll build our sauce in here. Hey. Probably got about two tablespoons of bacon fat in there, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. All right, so for our sauce, so we're gonna use about two tablespoons of cassava flour. Toast that up real quick. Then we'll add our milk. Okay, so we cooked the rawness out of that flour. We're gonna add in a cup of milk while you're stirring. This will help us from uh, getting any clumps. Once that's mostly in, we'll just add in the rest of it. I'm gonna turn this heat up just a little bit. So right now this is on a low fire. After I cook the bacon, we turn it down a little bit so the bacon grease wouldn't burn. But everything is getting assembled in here. So we're gonna add in six ounces of cream cheese. Cooking is a little bit messy, and so am I. Yeah, so we'll melt that down. I'll grab our spices, which are right here, because I'm smart. All right, so we got as much seasoning as you want, but I've got garlic powder, onion powder, some smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika, but uh, I just wanted a little more smoky flavor from it. And then I've got some cayenne in here, just because I, again, like the flavor of it. And then I've got some turmeric in here for color. 
All right, so I turned the heat off there. We really just need enough residual heat to melt all the cheese. I'm gonna add in the rest of our cheese, which is six ounces of cheddar. This is just a mild cheddar. Oh, and while we're on the subject of cheese, bring your own cheese. I mean, unless you like eating wood pulp. Bring your own cheese. What do you mean wood pulp? They put wood pulp in cheese to keep it from sticking. Yeah, mm. they put all sorts of weird crap in there. People chew on their pencils. Yeah, that's true. I chew on pens and that's plastic. I probably have terrible things in my stomach. Have you ever uh, had a pen break in your mouth? No, I'm not getting ink in yeah. your mouth? No, no, no. Ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah, so our cheese is mostly melted. It's pretty thick too. It is. We're gonna thin it out a little bit. You can make it the consistency that you want. That's why I got a little bit of water. So we are gonna add our bacon in. Yum, oh that sounds delicious. And then our cauliflower, which is still warm, which you want because once you put the cauliflower in and you get the sauce, the consistency that you want, this is good to go. This is completely done at this point. Set that in. Make sure you're picking a vessel that is big enough to accommodate the cauliflower and everything. This is a one pot meal, but make sure that it's big enough. I'm gonna add in a little water just to thin that out a little bit. I would not recommend using the cauliflower water because it tastes like cauliflower. Again, I don't like it's the taste of cauliflower. Yeah. I mean, if you were making pasta, you could use the pasta water to do it. But... I look like a child. Why well, you look like a child? I like it. <laughs> it does, so it does get thick and it can be unruly once you add in everything. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water because I think this is still a little bit too thick. Couple of tablespoons more of water. Thicky, thicky, thicky. But once you get that where you want it, it's done. So we're gonna taste it for seasoning. I already have this fork here. Can I get a little one? Mm, it smells good. It's all about. Oh man. Oh, or eat it. Eat it. it smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. Yum. It's yummy. Oh, there we go. There she is. Miss America and Mr. Mayor America. Mr. Mayor America. Mayor America. All right, here's what everybody's been waiting for. Yes. The real stuff. Stovetop mac and cheese. This is, I mean, they're both easy 30 minute dinners, but this is the easy, delicious, rich, luxurious mac and cheese. What everybody wants in a mac and cheese. No blue box here. Don't, no. don't come at me with the blue, don't, don't. I don't want to hear it. You know the only reason that we all buy blue box is because of our children. It's the, it's the convenience factor, but if you can put the same thing together in the time it takes to boil pasta plus a few minutes after that, it, it's easy. It's easy. And it takes no time. <laughs> As you can tell, I am a huge advocate of grating your own cheese because I don't want any wood pulp. And I also don't want any potato starch in there. And I will say that for this one, it can make the sauce a little grainy. For the other one as well, but this one, it can really make the sauce grainy. Shredded cheese? Yes. Okay. Because of the added ingredients in there, the starch and other things, it can make the end result a little bit grainy. So I would really recommend shredding your own cheese. If you want to experiment around with the cheese a little, so this is sharp cheddar, which is a little acidic, a little fatty. You can experiment, but that's on you. Let us know though, if you do. <laughs> All right, so we got a pot of water. It's almost to a boil and a big pinch of salt. A big pinch of salt. Yeah, none of your tiny little pinches. I'm gonna have to do two pinches. Is that a big pinch? That is a big pinch. No, that's not a big pinch. <laughs> So what is the saying uh, with pasta water that it needs to be like salt like the sea? It's, yes. Is like a phrase? I, I think that's the phrase. Salt, I think you did it. Salt the, the water, uh, aqua water. Nope. You're nope. Italian. Don't like that. Let us know. This is our biggest chance to season the pasta. So we did the same thing with the cauliflower. The boiling of the cauliflower was our chance to season it. This is our chance to season the pasta. So it's gonna be a lot harder afterwards to get the right amount of seasoning into it if you didn't put any in the beginning. And don't put oil in your water. Don't put oil in your water. All that does is it makes all the sauce not stick to it. So don't do that. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Don't do it. I I have to uh, full star. Yes. Score! Baking. Baker's dozen. I don't know. What is that? Dozen. 
Single chest! Single chest! Ha ta ta tea! And that movie, Ernest. Ernest? You can't even talk like Ernest. Ernest, scared straight. Do it. Do your best Ernest voice right now. I want to mean her. No, do it better. Do, do it better. Do a thousand percent better than that. What about the guy from Princess Bride? Never get into the battle of wits! <laughs> with a Sicilian with death is on the line! <laughs> There you go. That was perfect. Okay. Well, you gotta check the recipe in my notes. Cause I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm a culinary school dropout. You got my milk. I got that. 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 Come on, bro. Where's the heat? Where's the beat? Yeah! Woo 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 woo! We got the Bow Island water! All right, it's salted. What do you do next? Now uh, we got eight ounces of little shells. I don't know why we're doing shells. Because when I was at the store, I said, hmm, those shells look really tasty and I don't feel like doing elbow pasta. Those little hard pasta things look, look the really little, tasty compared to all the other hard pasta things. The little shells, they got the little cups. The little cheese cups. Anyway. All right, eight ounces of whatever pasta you want, although like not spaghetti or something, because that'd be weird. Spaghetti. So that is gonna cook uh, until it's al dente. Al dente. What al dente. To the tooth. To the tooth. People don't know what that means always. Well, now they do. See, this is why you come here. You get the you get hard getting back. So what does to the tooth mean? To the tooth, it means when you bite into it, you gotta, you gotta actually bite into it and just fall apart. I mean, I'll be cooking your pasta too long. Yeah, they also be using pre-shredded cheese. That's true. All right. Do whatever you want, I guess. You're the one that's gotta eat it. Yeah. You it's want true. a timer? No, I don't like timer. What? Real Italian. You got real Italian over here? When I'm Italian, I'll be Italian. Look at the Italian, living in a stallion. Tell me what to do. Yeah. Okay, so while the pasta's cooking, we are gonna make the sauce. Well, we're gonna begin to make the sauce. We're gonna finish it all in the pot. Also one pot meal. Okay, so we have about three quarters of a cup of milk. I don't know why I'm tipping it over. You're not gonna be able to see it anyway. Three quarters <laughs> of a cup of milk to which we're going to add two eggs. Why are we doing eggs? Woo. To form a nice, Luscious sauce with eggs everywhere. Eggs everywhere. That's great. Wait, my face is open. Okay. So, why are we putting eggs in here? Does that not mess it up? No, so it's gonna kind of make like a custard. This is gonna make a very rich, thick sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, delicious. So, if you're making like a back pat, if you're making a baked macaroni and cheese, you would make a roux, like a bechamel and then add cheese to that. That's just more complicated, and then we had to bake it. We're not doing all that. No. We're making it right there. So we're gonna mix this together, basically until you can't see any spots from the yolk. You don't want any big orange <laughs> from the yolk. You want it all to be nice and homogenous. Okay, so she's stirring the pasta. She's gonna check that. I have my eggs and milk mixed together. I'm gonna sprinkle in some garlic powder. I'm gonna sprinkle until I hear the voice of my ancestors tell me to stop. All the measurements will be in the recipe, which is in the description. Let's try. Don't come at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I am gonna add that much hot sauce. A Just dash. A, a dash of hot sauce. A little dash. Probably a dash and a half. But everybody knows real adults put hot sauce on after it's done. In their bowl. And a lot of it. Yeah, we're gonna add we had a lot of hot sauce to this for our own eating. Nope. Not ready. I know this video has been a little more disorganized with like a lot of stuff on the table while we're also doing something else. But it's because these two dishes, both of them come together really quickly. And so it's like, all right, we'll have everything that you need ready to go right when you need it. Have all your mise en place in the place. Mise en place in place. All your things in place in place. French. And the français. And the français. I'm basically French. What? Because I said that. Where do you get that from? Because I said. Where do you place. get a lot? Mise en place. Ew, bro. <laughs> Like the city in Louisiana called Laplace. The, place. the place. place. Where are you going? I'm going to that place. I'm not going to that place. I'm going to the place. Almost there. Almost. Oh my gosh, why am I eating this? <laughs> 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 I'm so stupid.
How many have you had? Like two of them? Two? That's fine. Two little gluten balls. Thanks. Take over, <laughs> I feel like the moon rising. <laughs> moon rising a little bit higher. <laughs> You'd be like my dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna stir this over here. I hate myself. I feel like temperature rising. Have you ever looked at yourself before in the camera? <laughs> I need to add your face to it's the so scary. facial tracking. All right, I'm gonna drain our pasta. Bye bye. Woo! Okay. Okay. Our pasta's still hot. We just drained it. We must do it. I drained the water off. I didn't sit there and drain it very well, so there's still some pasta water in it. That'll help us to fill our sauce. We're adding three tablespoons of butter. We have that chopped up so that it's not just one giant blob of butter. We're gonna mix this until the butter is all melted because this butter is gonna help us build our sauce. We're basically construction workers in here, building things. All right, so our butter is dissolved. I cannot see any bits of butter, but our pasta is completely coated with butter. All right, let's add our sauce in. And you wanna keep stirring this. You, we're not making scrambled eggs. So let's add that in quickly. And then we will add our cheese in as well. Pop all that in there. Ah, my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> all right, so we're stirring this until our cheese is dissolved. We do wanna do this over low heat. Just a little bit of heat. Again, we're not making scrambled eggs. This is gonna take a second to come together because we added a lot of cold things to this pot. We had all those eggs and milk and then we dumped the cheese in here. Dumping, building, dumping, cracking. <laughs> we are done. So this is done when you can't see any more cheese. No mess. No little speckles of cheddar in here. And that's how you know it's done. Mm, it's nice and saucy. It's so good. It looks like a stove top, macaroni and cheese. Yeah, this is like what you eat with garlic bread. Mm, I like bread. Mm. Oh. Garlic bread? All right, friends, we just made two different kinds of macaroni and cheese in probably less than 30 minutes, even filming everything. Yeah, and they are both delicious. I don't know. That one's good. This one's good, the regular one. Yeah, so both these recipes are super easy. And if you have a little extra time, it's also easy to class them up too. Class them up, church them up. Jazz it's them up. It's also easy to church them up. So you can put some, so obviously this doesn't have gluten, but if you've got some gluten-free uh, like panko breadcrumbs, put that on there with some Parmesan cheese, crisp that up in the oven. Same thing with this, although you can use regular breadcrumbs some cheese, crisp that up in the oven. Cause these are already fully cooked off the stove top, but add a little crunch and another layer of flavor. That'd be really easy and really fast. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope thanks uh, for watching. you make some of this stuff and let us know what you think. Yeah, let us know if you make it and what you think of it. Bye. Bye. Bye.